I am excited to see the technology continue to revolutionize the way we work in the future, to provide access to financial tools and to create unique solutions to unsolved problems. I originally co-founded Linum Labs in Cape Town, South Africa in 2016. Today, we are a blockchain software production studio with employees across Africa, Europe, and North America. We focus on building a diverse portfolio of custom blockchain applications for our global clientele. Our goal is to pioneer exciting and novel technological solutions for our clients. We serve as a bridge between ordinary people and the incredible opportunities blockchain technology provides. By integrating research into our daily work, we stay ahead of the curve. Our dynamic and flexible work culture constantly adapts to the industry's needs. Switzerland appealed to us as the ideal place for our company headquarters due to its supportive environment for the industry. My co-founder was Swiss, so we had a clear understanding of what to expect when establishing a company here. We are based in Schaffhausen, and both the city and the business community in the canton have gone out of their way to provide us with key networking opportunities and to connect us within the country. The sense of security and stability in Switzerland is reassuring. The thorough processes required to set up a company meant we had the right infrastructure to confidently take on any project. We believe that a base in Switzerland with the protocols you must meet and the help you get reassures our clients and helps us to establish trust easily. Our clients can see we are secure and stable. Switzerland is also one of the most knowledgeable and forward-looking countries on blockchain and cryptocurrency regulation. These factors have confirmed to us that moving here was the right decision. In recent years, we have worked with clients of various different sizes. One of our most prominent is SBB, the Swiss National Railway. We created an identity and credentialing solution for their staff using the Ethereum blockchain. Working with large corporations can extend timelines because of the regulations involved in implementing cutting-edge technical solutions. Linum Labs worked with their innovation and research teams on proof-of-concept projects and trained their developers and project managers in the intricacies of blockchain. We also made sure that their railway company and all their workers integrated the new technology successfully. Our goal is to empower clients to take our proof of concepts and combine it with the knowledge we have transferred so that they are equipped with the appropriate tools for future projects. Then using their own employees, they can build their own projects and we remain available to consult and guide them through the process. Switzerland's blockchain ecosystem is dynamic. People are collaborating and partnering to achieve bigger goals together. I will give you a few examples. There are foundation companies that sustain the blockchain. For example, Web3, Bancor, and Tezos. Additionally, crypto financial services providers supply exchanges, crypto banks, market makers, hedge funds, and liquidity providers, such as Bitcoin Swiss, Seba, Signum, and 21 shares. There are also not-for-profit organizations that offer support and assistance to startups and established enterprises few of which include the Crypto Valley Association and Bitcoin Association Switzerland. Finally, infrastructure providers offer wallet solutions to administer digital assets. Some of the main ones are Ledger, Taurus, Medico, and the Crypto Storage AG. There is potential for further improvement by strengthening the ties with regulators and educating a wider range of people, including non-technical people. The technology is revolutionary and must be elaborated further to allow its quick adoption through different collaborations across the ecosystem. We are pleased to have clients across the globe. It has given us the challenging opportunity of working across multiple jurisdictions. The products we build must be compliant with different regional standards. We have found the Swiss regulation the most accommodating, as the government is actively trying to understand the new technology. Therefore, the ecosystem is able to grow in a structured and safe regulatory environment. The clear priority is to keep both companies and users safe. The new DLT law shows Switzerland's commitment to adapting the evolving environment. 
The law enables regulated blockchain usage by legally binding digital transactions without the signature of a certified registrar. These steps reinforce trust in blockchain technology and boost the ecosystem by encouraging other countries to incorporate similar regulations and practices. Innovation in the sector has sped up at an exponential rate over the past few years. When we started in 2016, there was already a growing curiosity from banks and financial institutions to see what they could do to stay relevant. Today, interest in blockchain goes well beyond the financial sector. Last year, we saw the rise of DeFi, decentralized finance, which gives people access to financial products and services without using traditional financial institutions. This is slowly removing barriers to participation in the wider economy. There has also been a popularization of NFTs, non-fungible tokens, such as for unique photos, videos, or digital media. The growth in this is being spurred by celebrities and artists alike. As these things start to reach a more mainstream audience, their technology will become less fringe than it was previously. All of these technologies are starting to gain traction in more mainstream news sources and reaching the eyes of people beyond just the STEM industries. I am excited to see the technology continue to revolutionize the way that we work in the future, provide access to financial tools and create unique solutions to unsolved problems.